Welcome to Office Oddballs Behind the Scenes with special interviews. So, how do you feel being a part of the Office Oddballs? Honestly, at this stage of uh, my career, having done theater for so long, I feel that being part of the Oddball cast is a culmination of the work done throughout my life. Um, being Jim truly is, I believe, the peak of my artistic, my artistic um, walk. The journey I've gone through in my life, I, I feel that in this character, I'm, be able, I'm able to express things I've never been able to express before. Things that America has been longing to hear and not finding a way to clearly talk about it. I think Jim does that. So uh, it's a thrill to me to be a part of this cast. Um, it's, it's, it's an honor, honestly. So how do you feel about your character, Jim? Well, Shakespeare once said through Hamlet, which I played in high school, was my first, uh, that's how I got into acting. He said, to be or not to be, that is the question. And that's what Jim is. It's a kaleidoscope of being and then not being. The parts you see in, in, in the film um, reflect, honestly, our postmodern angst, I would say. But also it's what you don't see that makes Jim such a rich character. He has so many angles from which you can see things, and I, I truly believe that his interaction with Fred, for example, his interaction with his wife, it's a reflection of who we are as a modern society. So to portray a character of such depth that just speaks of the American 21st century to me is just a beautiful thing, and I'm fine filming it. It's, it's fantastic. Um, having only filmed three episodes up to this point, I think America is in for a treat, honestly, because the depth of his emotions haven't truly come out yet. I think in the, in the, the last scene of, uh, of the third episode, talking about the oils, the essential oils, I think people could truly relate to how he felt. Um, it was emotional for me, honestly. I, it, we did it in one take. It was just like... I, it just came out, just, just, America needs to hear this. So as, as, as Jim goes on, as the season progresses, I'm sure that a lot of those statements are just going to be made and people will be in front of their televisions, probably in tears, like past the tissues, Jim is on again. I, I just can't. He's, he's just speaking of what I'm feeling. And I think that will be more and more as the season goes on that. He's just going to truly express the heart of America. Wow, thank you so much. Yes, my pleasure. You know, it's really great honor because the Office Oddballs cast, a unique group of all these unique people coming together with differences and different strengths, different talents. There's a lot of talent. I feel like they were really, really patient with me when I was struggling. So, what do you think of your character, the unnamed receptionist? The unnamed receptionist, definitely she deserves a name because she's a very unique character. I like that she has a lot of personality. Um, she's not afraid, you know, to speak what she feels. She doesn't keep things to herself. And I think that's, that's really... It's been a pleasure to play the receptionist. I don't think I've really given her justice, you know. So, how do you feel about your character being on the show early in this third series? That, that was hard. Um, definitely I'm going to miss it. But I have full confidence in the next receptionist, played by A.S. Stafford. Um, A.S. got a lot of talent, and I think she's going to be an asset to the show. It's interesting. I've been on a lot of different programs like this, um, but this one, it just has that different energy, like it's that, that rougher, like, we're down in the trenches, we're going to actually put on, like, this, this show, you know? So, um, yeah, it's been a long time since I've done something as low budget as this, but I would say, um, I don't know, it's just got that grit, like, that real life kind of feel to it, and it's, it's, uh, it's a joy. So, how do you think of your character, Bob? Well, Bob, obviously right now he's being set up to be, you know, the next boss. 
like his character, he's he's coming in. He's the Ryan of the office, if you're going to make that comparison. But he's going to go on to make his own company. You know, he's going to like surpass everybody and eventually become like, you know, boss, like maybe even king of the world. Great. So, how do you think Bob's character will develop throughout season one? Oh, season one, uh, he gets the chair. I'm pretty sure. Um, a little overwhelmed, a little excited. Um, I was only supposed to do once, but I got right into the show for the rest of the season. So, I'm excited about it. How do you feel about all of the cast? Do you still feel safe in your character? You know, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I hope that my character can take a big impact on the show. Wow, what can I say? I mean, the cast, absolutely amazing. The characters, I mean, so diverse, so rich. Look at Jim. I mean, that guy is a physical specimen. Did you see all the push-ups that he did? I mean, it's really, it's, it's unbelievable. And the acting, it's really Oscar-worthy, you know? I mean, Fred, look at that guy, I mean, not one take goes by that we're not rolling on the floor. And Bob, he's such a straight shooter. Pew, 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 pew. You know what I mean? He just, such a straight laced, straight faced. It's unbelievable. That guy, I want that guy riding shotgun with me on all my interviews, honestly. And the front desk, the gals playing that, I mean, they're just absolutely amazing. I mean, they're so professional. I mean, the way they treat people, I mean, just sheer kindness. I mean, that's how I want to be treated by everyone when I walk into the office, right? Such love, warmth. I mean, it's, it's really quite the place to work. It's believable, right? I mean, you walk in, it feels like home. I mean, just the looks you get, the love, the attention, the warmth. I mean, any one of them, I mean, it's fantastic. And... The crew is just amazing, honestly. They're all just utterly, utterly sheer professionals. I am just absolutely grateful to be on this show, excited to see where this goes. And honestly, I hope we shoot this for 20 years, honestly. Wow, that's great. So, so what do you think of your character, Mr. Bumble? Wow, that guy, I mean, he's so complex, you know? He's a businessman. He's an entrepreneur, always coming up with new ideas. I mean, you could care, you could tell the care he puts into the company and his business. That reflect, that's a reflection of me. Just the care, concern I have for my fellow man, the employees. I mean, really, if they had a Walter Payton Award for cinematography, I should be getting it, honestly. I mean, I love Mr. Grumble. I love everything about him. He's just a reflection of me. And I hope, too, that I can be on the top ten list. Wow, that's great. So how do you think uh, Mr. Grumble's character uh, will develop throughout the rest of season one and towards the finale? Yeah, so character development. I mean, let's look at the start. I mean, this guy, I mean, he's all business all the time, right? And uh, as, as we see, he comes up with this really creative idea, um, the triangle plan, which is phenomenal. I mean, it's just sheer brilliance. And the way he got the employees to buy into it, just brilliant. I mean, I think we're really going to see the company take off with the essential oils plan. Who knows? I mean, he could be jet setting all over the globe next. He could become a billionaire, a tycoon out of this. I mean, we'll see how much money the employees contribute to this and buy in on the program. Or, you know, who knows? Could see the guy end up in behind bars for all we know. But I'm excited either way, and I'm happy to be part of this. Wow, that's great. This interview's done. It's much. You're welcome. How do you feel about your learning skills? Well, uh, to be honest with you, I think they're a talent. I mean, that's the quote that a lot of the guys themselves had. Uh, yeah, they're a very talented group. I'm excited to what they bring to the table and to the film itself. Uh, filming with them, it's been a real pleasure, a real joy. So. 
Well, in the first episode, when we were just getting things started, I could already see some guys like uh, Billy and um, Josh Peretti. Uh, they already showed potential in the first episode. They were just ready to go right out of the gates. And as for the rest of them, I can't say the same. But it's a process, you know? You, you gotta trust the process. And I think it's definitely uh, paid off. How do you feel about how these characters have developed? Well, you know, a lot of them, like uh, Josh once said, it was very in-depth. Uh, that's could not be farther from uh, the truth. No, just kidding. <laughs> it's, uh, no, it's, uh, I would say it's probably one of my best works. Uh, as for depth, I feel like um, throughout the season, I guess viewers will get to know them more. You know, kind of on a personal and relatable basis, so. so on average, how long did it take you to write each character? Well, on a per episode basis, I would say it, it's a time investment, but it really does pay off. I would say on average, it's about a few, uh, two hours, I would say, per episode. And it just depends. For this season, it's kind of, it's been a ramp up from what we've done. The first episode was about two minutes long. You know, that would only take maybe an hour, hour and a half, and then as we've ramped up making it three minutes and then five as in episode three uh it's taken a lot more time about two to three hours to uh, develop the script